Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers, sisters, friends, comrades on YouTube, to my family, and to the love of my life. She's having a ball up at Tehachapi right now, doing her little thing with her merchantile business. They had a gig at a winery. She didn't like wine, though. My babe is a beer drinker. Yeehaw. When we first got together, I'd order like a daiquiri. She'd order a beer, and they'd come to the table, and they'd set the beer down in front of me, and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's for her. I'll take the foo foo drink. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, oops, I'm going to put off my seatbelt, even if I'm only going to the front. I'm at Costco Distribution Center, uh, Monroe Township, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, it's been a minute since we've spoken and I've been hammering down and I haven't I've been so tired I haven't even wanted to do a video to be really frank with you if I may be frank I uh, I got the I got loaded uh, I believe it was last Tuesday it was Tuesday and uh, well, I only did about 200 and some odd miles the first night because I ran out of time, so I couldn't do any more. So uh, you know, I'm trying to set my cruise control so I don't trip. I don't want to trip myself into driving. Um, but after Tuesday night, so I stayed in Winnemucca that night, and then I made 600 mile plus runs each day, uh, including yesterday, and then I was only 50 miles from the delivery today. Then I got tangled up because there was a police activity on some smaller street and I had to change up my my uh, uh, course, if you will, on the fly, and that tangled me up. Man, that tangled me up, and it sent me down a road that had a 12-foot bridge, railroad crossing, 12 feet. I'm already on the road. I'm like, oh no, man. I had to. I had to. I had to get turned around in New Jersey on these little dinky roads, man. It was terrible. Fortunately, there was a, a, just a little road to my left that looked like it might have even been a private road. But straight behind it was a, a city street. So I was able to pull in there, We're get straight. Get up straight right next to a railroad track and then back straight out down that street and then I was able to turn around but boy if that street wasn't there I would have really been in a bind and I would have been late I wasn't late as it was gratefully I was way ahead of schedule glad I left when I did but uh, I made it with plenty of time to spare and I checked out 907. I was in the door at 8.30. So that's beauty. My appointment was at 8, which I was here at 8. But um, you know, this place is massive. This place is gigantic. And uh, took me uh, took me a while to get back to my building and hit my door. So but we got her done. It was heavy, heavy, heavy travels, man. It was long travels all day. Now the bind that I'm in is our entire system with uh, Leonard's Express is down. It's been down for a few days. There's no communication with uh, Leonard's 
Express right now through the app. I can't scan my paperwork in right now. I'm not getting a load delivered to me right now because they don't have a means to. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go from here back over to a Flying J that's in Union Township off of uh, Interstate 178 where I basically was. Uh, it's about 50 miles from here. And then I'm going to uh, take a shower and I'll chill there for a minute. And then uh, I guess I have to make an email. I really should stay there for a 34 because I'm, I'm running out of time. So that's what I really should do and should be able to do. But uh, we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. I'm running on recaps right now. I probably have 10 or 11 hours on the books right now. And I'm only getting like five hours back in the next two days. So I don't know what I could do with that. I could probably run one day, but I still got to catch a load. So if I, even if I do catch a load, there's going to be one day that I'm going to be able to drive four or five hours. Four hours. You know, that's still, you know, 300 miles or close to it. 250. But, you know, that's not really enough to uh, make any, you know, headway. So and this place is so freaking hard to find a parking spot in New Jersey and anywhere out here. It's unbelievable. So I'm going up there hoping that by, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'm going to have a parking spot in uh, Uniontown. God dang it, man. It's hard to find a parking spot around here. That's what sucks about the East Coast, particularly the Northeast. The Northeast is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So... Anyway, we're working on it. We're trying to get in contact. Well, we not yet, but we will be trying to get in contact with uh, uh, Caldwell just to see what's next. And then um, that's that. But right now, we're going to go up here and check out at the Costco DC in, uh, uh, what I say? Uh, Monroe Township, sorry. These, <laughs> these cities and towns get muddled. But anyway, we're gonna go check out here. Uh, my head is swiveling like you would not believe just because I'm in Jersey. I got tapped on the door, this was a trip. So I, I'm i uh, laying in my bunk, I'm asleep. Last night, I don't know. I'm not, I don't even know what time it was. It, was. it wasn't nighttime yet, it was like 5.30 in the evening or something like that. And I am sleeping hard. And I hear what I think was tap, 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 tap on my, and it, it startled me. And I, I woke up, I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was saying. I was sorry for it, but I sure did. So anyway, uh, not, never happened again. And I don't know why it happened in the first place. Not even really sure if it did happen. Okay. So anyway, all right, I'm going to check out here. I'm going to make another video later on and uh, let you know how it goes with um, with uh, Caldwell. Actually, I might just tag it on to the end of this one. I'm not going to. I'll edit about that. All right. So uh, in that case, Clydesdale, let's throw it to you. Well, thanks, Clydesdale. We'll take it from here. So I uh, made it to the uh, pilot in... Uh, I'm actually in Hampton, New Jersey. I'm not very far from the Pennsylvania border, uh, so we've changed locations since we've uh, since the last scene, uh, where uh, we were at the Costco DC, and so now we've completed that load flawlessly. It was a, really a good load, long miles, which is great, more than 2,800 miles, which makes for a lovely payday. So um, that worked out swell. Um, I'm doing a 34 here because 
Um, I'm just running low on hours. I've got like uh, something of 11 hours uh, remaining on my 70. Um, and then I'm only gaining like just under five hours back uh, over the next two days. So it's really kind of senseless to try and do anything with a load because I'd end up only being able to drive tools and views uh, once I got loaded. So it just really isn't even worth it. So we're staying here for 34. There's another reason for that. I'll share with you momentarily. Um, this place is crowded, man. This place is crowded. And it's kind of one of those deals where you just, you find a parking spot, you get in it. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to, and they're going to do it in short order. And so you better run. All right, well, because of that, you know, philosophy at this particular place, I got stuck. Uh, heading into my parking spot instead of backing it, which I can't stand that. I hate doing that. I hate it when other people do it. But right now, I, it was just, it was right in front of me. My truck was at the wrong angle to back in. So I headed in and it just is not an ideal situation. I've got a lot of room behind me to get out. So I'm not too worried about it at this particular venue here in Hampton. New Jersey, but it's still not ideal, um, and it's not an ideal place really to spend a 34-hour reset. You know, I'd, I'd really rather spend it at a, at a, you know, a nicer, you know, maybe even a little more adventurous place. But whatever, it is what it is. I don't do a whole lot of 34s when I'm on the road anyway, uh, just because you know, um, my dispatcher or a DA, she's a go-getter, man. She's a go-getter. A lot of times she'll have she'll have a load ready for me before I even get to my current load. Uh, so, and I'm good with that. As long as I've got the hours to run it, let's run because that's what I'm out here to do. I don't need to be sitting around twiddling my thumbs like I was in the last load, which is the reason why I don't have a lot of recap hours coming back to me for the next couple of days. Uh, when you sit around a lot and you're on duty a very little amount of time, you don't get a big recap because the recaps you get are your on duty time. So we don't have that. And uh, let me so let me just give you a sort of a point of view. Yeah, here we are. I mean, it's I, it's better than having all this commotion in back of me. I mean, I. You know, I don't, it's just, you know, I don't need the hustle and bustle constantly. So, I mean, look, at least it's a little bit of a better view than all these trucks and the fuel and, you know, the engines roaring and, you know, generators sneezing at you all the time. And it's just, eh, you know, but anyway, it's a nice little place. This road you see in front of me, I have no idea what that road is not a clue but i'm glad it's there because uh like i said it's nicer than looking at the hustle bustle of a truck stop behind me Hi. yeah so uh i'm here till wednesday morning uh about 9 30 wednesday sorry tuesday night is when my 34 will have been completed but they're not going to give me a load at that hour and I don't want to load at that hour, frankly. So we'll talk Wednesday morning. They get in somewhere in the neighborhood of 8 o'clock. And hope, so that's like, uh, yeah, 11 o'clock my time here in New Jersey. So I don't expect to hear anything before that. Uh, it would be a bonus if I did, but I'm not expecting it. Bigger problems are that Leonard's Express Communications, uh, everything to do with Transflow, which is how we get paid. We, we scan our um, recap sheet with our bills of lading and we transflow that in it goes to Leonard's Express it's our payday and right now that whole system's down they can't send me a load the phones don't work in Caldwell I don't know if they're working anywhere else I don't I think they are but they're not working in uh, Caldwell so 
we it's, it's a major problem right now it's a major problem they're in the process of calling on their own personal cell phones every single driver in our fleet and the last i checked it was about 205 drivers just out of caldwell they're trying to contact every one of them today there's about five of them five da's in the da office upstairs at caldwell so they're all trying to contact everybody they've already contacted me uh, let them know what my situation is and i'm just going to take a 34 keep me out of your brain until wednesday morning and we should be good so that's what we're doing uh not much else to report uh it's beautiful here it's a little bit cloudy but it's 53 degrees december 4th hey it's on a monday december 4th and it's not raining it's not snowing it's not even close to freezing we're 21 degrees above freezing in december in new jersey the northeast hey i'm i'll take it i'll take it for as long as i can it's still fall hey let's keep it fall i love it so uh with that being said as i said earlier swiveling we're swiveling i'm on a seven i'm on a level seven swivel you know what i mean we're keeping uh keeping a look around keeping our nose up keeping our eyes up keeping that hat up okay that's how you protect yourself at least a little bit better and then you start kicking people right where it counts if something happens that's what we do here so hey thanks for tuning in you do know who love you it's your boy clydesdale we're leonard's express we're hurting right now in communications but we'll get through it we will get through it because leonard's express does that we get through it all right we persevere we get through it one how or the other that's what we're doing now again thank you we appreciate you i hope you have a great holidays Whatever it is you celebrate, if you celebrate it all, you know who love you. It's your boy. Peace!